I'm Jacob de Garrett, CEO of um, Acute Art, London-based um, art production company, who's been fortunate enough to produce some of the pieces that you're showing here. It's not something that is normally done very quickly. It's a very long conversation. It's a very long thought process. We try to look at it this way. If virtual reality can be achieved by any other means, so if you can paint it, if you can sort of act it, if you can sculpture it, it normally doesn't really work for um, virtual reality. Um, so the artist needs to come up with something that they belonging to express and simply not have the means or the technology to do it. Um, there we um, provide a technical solution um, how to bring their vision alive. In the end what we produce is always something that we think is going to push the medium to the next level and something that has not been done before. So the selection process is um, organic and it is slightly random actually also because sometimes an artist will come up and say I have this amazing thing I want to produce um, and if we can then we normally jump on it. For me it's quite clear that virtual reality is an art form by itself um, so it's a medium like anything else it's not about to replace anything it's not going to replace painting it's not going to replace anything but it is another dimension and another way of um, artistry. I think I, I'm not so sure that there are going to be artists that work exclusively with VR, but I think a lot of artists are going to branch out into VR. So there'll be, you know, in one artist's career, a number of VR works, you know, maybe a number of sculptures, maybe a number of paintings. But I think it makes sense for so many artists to um, look into this. And also, I mean, thinking about it, a lot of artists that are not doing VR today, when you look at their art, you can see that they should be doing VR. And I think this is sort of um, establishing itself more and more as something that is um, becoming very common and very mainstream. This might be one of the very few art forms that is completely democratic. As an artist, it's actually a very interesting way to reach people that normally you could not reach. VR allows a completely new experience because it is interactive and people want to be interactive. Um, it doesn't have to be linear, it can be non-narrative. It's user-generated. It's also an experience like the Ulafer piece where people can meet in an artwork. So, you know, someone could be in China, someone could be in Montreal, wherever, in the same art piece, seeing what the other person is doing, communicating. And that in itself, I think, you know, really opens up the door for so much more interaction, so much more, um, um, you know, in a way, human interaction between people um, from various backgrounds. <laughs>